We'll go to 165 pounds. We are through five here in our third place match between Wabash and Loris. And Loris leads 18-3, getting two pins at 133 pounds and 157 pounds. Now we'll go to 165 as we are past the halfway point of our duel. Kyle Hatch of Wabash and Eddie Smith of Loris. And this is your premier match of this duel as we have the number three and number four wrestlers in Division Three going at it. Smith of Loris is number three. And you guessed it, Hatch being number four in Division Three. Front head position here by Smith. And stalemates call. We've had a couple close matches this far, but we've also had some domination here from Loris. As they will try to build their lead here against Wabash. They're up 18-3. Four of the five matches we've wrestled, wrestled thus far have gone to Loris. Single leg here by Smith as he'll try to hook in that inside cradle from that single leg. And now Hatch will try to just sit through with it instead of resorting in... In, instead of um, getting away from that inside cradle and just trying to start right back up to his feet, Hatch did a great job of sitting out and now trying to turn it into a counterattack. Instead of resorting from that inside cradle attempt from Smith, Hatch will try to turn this in to something here as his leg is over the shoulder of Smith. He's got to be careful of Smith not turning into him now, in which he does, and no points. Momentarily, that was two points for Smith, but Hatch momentarily faced him. But now Smith will get the two points back. Nice scramble there from both wrestlers as Eddie Smith will win that battle and get two points taken down. Eddie Smith leads 2-0 here with a minute five left here in the first period. Number three versus the number four at 165, and we've got the number three and the number four teams as well in Division Three going at it here, but it's been the number three team, Loris, showing why they're a very tough team to go against. 35 seconds of riding time so far for Eddie Smith of Loris. Bottom guy set, top guy on. He'll take on from the right side. 43 seconds left in the first. Smith likes putting the legs in. Almost approaching a minute of riding time as he had to earn that first takedown against Kyle Hatch. Both wrestlers scrambling very well in the first period. Until Smith wins that scramble and gets the two-point takedown and now has a minute of riding time with 23 seconds left here in the first and stalemate's call. Smith will stay behind the elbows, put pressure on the top half of the back here of Hatch. Try to stick in the legs and not get caught with his head hanging. And that will be a one-point escape for Hatch. Smart decision by Smith, saw that he was going a little too high. Gave up one, not two, or even six. And that's the end of your first period. 2-1 lead for Smith in a minute 14 of riding time. Hatch will defer and Smith will immediately pick down to start the second period. Still plenty of time in this match, of course, as we're just starting our second period, so Smith doesn't have to worry about his riding time just yet. Hatch will start here from the left side. Hatch trying to ride here and get that riding time under a minute, crab ride position. Try to control the wrist on from the right side. As Hatch gets that ride in time under a minute at 48 seconds now. And we're halfway through our match here at 165 pounds. Number three ranked Eddie Smith against number four ranked Kyle Hatch. A minute 20 left in the seconds. As Hatch tried to pull Smith back, Smith immediately faces him and he'll try to get a two point reversal and he will. Great job by Eddie Smith. It's kind of a short sit position there as Hatch tried to snap back Smith from the top position. And Hatch reacted 100 miles per hour and faced Smith immediately. Got in on the ankles and got a two-point reversal. 
And now riding time from 40 seconds. We'll now try to go back up over a minute here for the Loris College Duhok, Eddie Smith. As he picks down to start the second period, successfully gets a two-point reversal and riding time back over in a minute. 40 seconds to go here in the second. Smith staying behind the elbows, putting pressure on the hips of Hatch, but not working off to the side at all and getting called for stalling. He's riding parallel instead of working perpendicular from the top position, and the ref doesn't like that. Stalling call. Smith got to be thinking about working off this side here and getting something done. He has a minute 15 of riding time and a 4-1 lead here at 165. 18 seconds left here in the seconds. Deep waist ride there from Smith as Hatch tried to switch out of it. Standing switch. He'll switch from the bottom but try to get up from the top here. And now get caught here in a neck wrench position here by Hatch, and they're gonna give one point escape for Hatch. No back points, no reversal, and that's the end of your second. Not enough control there by Hatch as he nearly had Smith pinned. Instead, he'll just get a one point escape for loss of control from Smith. Hatch will have his choice to start the third and final period, and he'll start in neutral. Hatch's gotta be thinking about getting a takedown here pretty quick and tying things up 4-4, and then getting that riding time under a minute, and he'll have 40 seconds to do so. So gotta think about getting a takedown right now here for Hatch, because essentially he's down 5-2. Double unders here from Smith. Wizard on here from Hatch on the right side. Both wrestlers, four point stance. Smith will get in on a single leg, and Hatch will use that strength of his to try to bowl over Smith. Try to hip into Smith here. Has to turn this into a takedown with a minute 20 left and stalemate's call. Hatch. Gonna think about getting a takedown and riding out the rest of the period to bring this to overtime. Smith controlling that left arm. Now Hatch goes right back in the under, under hook on from the right side, Wizard on from the left. Minute five left here in the third. There's a single leg attempt by Hatch. Smith will try to re-attack. Hatch gets his legs out from underneath and a two-point takedown. Great reaction time by Kyle Hatch of Wabash. Nearly getting taken down by the re-attack of Eddie Smith, but Hatch immediately kicks up his ankles, scurries around, and gets a two-point takedown. He's tied things up 4-4 with 40 seconds left, and he has plenty of time to get some riding time down under a minute from Smith. 30 seconds left in a minute 13 of riding time and losing here for Smith. We're tied 4-4. Smith's got to get out of bottom. He can get a two-point move here if he gets out with the next five seconds, and he won't. 18 seconds left. Riding time's not a factor anymore. Hatch has got to ride out Smith here. And Kyle Hatch putting all the pressure on towards the end of this third period, and Hatch gets the riding time under a minute. We'll get the ride out in the period, and we've got free wrestling at 165 pounds. Between the number three and number four ranked wrestlers at 165 pounds. Here we go, overtime. Kyle Hatch and Eddie Smith. Hatch getting a takedown towards the very end, about 40 seconds left in the third, and now Hatch will get a shot here. Get an inside single attempt. We'll try to crash down on the hips there of Smith. Smith's got to put a wizard on from the right side. Hatch still in on that single leg. Picks the single leg, tried to get rid of the post arm. Limp arm out of that wizard. Both wrestlers in the scrambling position now with 30 seconds left. Smith still in on that single leg. Hatch will try to retreat in on that wizard. Will now try to hook in the leg. He's behind the elbows. That's two points. That is two points for Hatch. He was behind the elbows. Got Smith down on all fours. No reaction time in college wrestling. And Hatch will pick up a huge 6-4 OT win over Smith of Loris. Big win at 165 pounds. As Coach Miller does not like that call. No reaction time and all fours. Momentarily, Smith was down on all fours where Hatch covered behind the elbows. He got that two-point takedown off of his initial shot here in overtime. 
as the number four ranked wrestler over the number three ranked wrestler at 165. It's three more team points here for Wabash.